What's going on guys? My name is D. Anthony. What we're going to be looking at is Tesla's daily chart, trying to figure out, you know, where is that next potential trade going to come? Um, is it going to be a long? Is it going to be a short? Now, the overall market, you know, the triple Qs, the technology sector today, a little bit of a rest day, nothing to be too concerned about. We're still over our five, 10 day moving average on the daily time frame. But, you know, if we kind of look at Tesla here, we're coming on two consecutive red days today down two dollars, one percent closed at one ninety two fifty eight. But we are, however, at the 50 day moving average. Now, if you know anything about technical analysis, you know, the 200 and the 50 day as well as the two, uh, 20 day moving averages are very, very significant. The five and the 10 day moving averages are more of your short term sentiment. Um, kind of indicators they're going to let you know are we trending are we holding the prior days high this that and the other now if we kind of look at where we stand today tesla can do one of two things it can bounce from here or it can continue to go lower i do not see a short position on tesla until we close below 185 186 if we close below 186 let's say for example i'm just going to talk in theory if tesla tomorrow closes below 186 and let's say we put in a new low at 185.10 okay what we would then be looking for uh tomorrow is wednesday so what we would be looking for on thursday is a confirmation of that price action below 185.10 as soon as we confirm 185.10 that is when myself as well as the traders and evolution traders are going to look to take that short position with potential to get testing of the newer lower channels which could be coming back to here the 20th of march the 17th the 16th the 15th and the 14th if we kind of look at this consolidation look at this prior you know kind of resistance before we gapped over the 20-day moving average essentially you know anything below 186 185 could come down 178 179 180 now where is it going to stop it is something that nobody knows because if for example if for example if if i knew exactly where tesla was going to stop then i would be all in every single time right what we have to do is monitor the technical levels we have to play them we have to sell into the next support or resistance and then we have to take our profits hold the runner for the next kind of demand or supply zone so essentially if you kind of look at how much airspace we have here this is what you want to see you don't really want to be trading when we've got supply and demand just all kind of trapped and bottlenecked up if we don't come back down or let's say for example we do kind of break this 50-day moving average and an intraday we kind of reclaim it and we put in a little intraday bounce we're going to really need to get over 198.78 let's call it 199 with potential to come up to 204 that will be your trade to the long side over 199 you're going to be taking profits at around 200 201 202 203 lock in all those profits hold the runner because after we get over 205 then we can start to like retest this 208 and 209 level anything over 208 50s has room to 215 so again we have to be a little bit more patient right now we have to allow the market to kind of set up we can't be impatient meaning you know I understand that when the market's open and you see the price going up and see the price going down you want to take those trades in order to kind of stay in this business for the long haul we need to first understand our strategy two we need to understand the price action we need to understand what's exactly going on in the overall markets if we kind of look at the triple q's right which is a technology sector kind of look at the triple q's they've been on a fantastic bull run they came back in and tested their five-day moving average if they start to confirm this five-day and we start to lose yesterday's channel we potentially have room to 312. now if we do come down to 312 then you automatically know more than likely there's going to be a good shot that tesla is going to lose this 50-day moving average and potentially start to test that 186 185. any close below 185 has a lot of room down this is a trade that you're going to want to be into the short side if you're looking to trade tesla to the long side let's say for example there's going to be two ways to play it either we're going to come down and test these levels and then we're going to reclaim it and we're going to put in a new lower uh high here let's call it 192 ish then we're going to need to see the next day's channel kind of take that out and take out this 198.50 area over 198.50 is where you're going to want to get long as a trader for a short term again 
you know, in order for us to swing it, we're going to have to get right back over this five day moving average. We can't put on any swings to the long side, hoping that Tesla is going to bounce here off the 50 day moving average. Because the moment that you take a swing trade below the short term moving averages, which is a five in the 10, hoping that it's going to come back is when you're going to get wrecked and you're going to see this come all the way down below this 50 day moving average and start working its way down to 181, 182, 179, 176, so forth and so forth. So again, we've got a two-sided trade here. I'd like to see Tesla kind of lose this whole bottom of the range here. This bottom of the range, 185.45. Below 185.45, definitely a short position on Tesla. You know, try to grab two, three points off of that if you can. Remember, always take profits, guys. It doesn't have to get down here to 172. This is kind of just our gauge, right? Potentially, we have room to get down here. Just make sure you're taking profits along the way down. And again, on the top side, we're going to need to get back over these short-term moving averages, get above 198.50, and then we're going to play that into 200, 201, and 202. I hope this video helps you guys. If you guys are kind of struggling to find a strategy that's consistent or find a community that kind of shoots the shit to you guys real and you know it's not going to sugarcoat anything again there's nothing wrong with a lot of these other communities out there but a lot of communities are just trying to give you buy and sell orders and for me i was never really a fan of just someone telling you hey buy at this price sell at this price because you never really understand and learn what exactly is that they're doing or why they're doing it and you won't be able to do it on your own so i would always recommend you know, to learn a strategy, perfect that strategy and practice risk management, manage your emotions. And if you can do that by learning a strategy, whether it be for me or someone else, it's always going to be the best way rather than just to try to take someone else's buy and sell orders. It just never really works out. But if you do want to join the community, it's evolutiontraders.com and I'll see you guys all on the inside.